discovered this $20 million one district one factory company in Ghana. With up to $20 million already invested in the Comfy Fruits and Juices Limited project through the District 1 factory program, it is clear that Ghana's industrialization ambition is alive and well. Stick with Africa Reloaded until the end as we examine what the $20 million investment means for the country and the industrial company under the One District One Factory initiative and all the details surrounding this incredible developmental initiative. This indicates that Ghana's industrialization agenda is being pursued as a key factor to the nation's rights from developing to a fully developed economy. Before we get started, as always, I would appreciate a like on this video and a channel subscription. Many developing nations, including Ghana, are making industrialization a top development priority and beginning to implement ambitious long-term industrial development plans that will foster economic growth, encourage the acquisition of skills, and provide the necessary resources to meet developmental standards. According to Frederick Kwabena Akwa, the company's director of operations, a sum of roughly $20 million has been invested in the Comfy Fruits and Juices Limited with this in mind. He added that in addition to many others working on the farms, the factory has hired roughly 75 workers. He said that these individuals have received training in a variety of fields, including engineering, to increase the factory's capacity for output. The One District One Factory program led to the establishment of the Comfy Fruits and Juices Limited in 2019. This is in light of potential in the new market. More than 3,000 acres of pineapples are being grown by the firm. The company's own pineapple farms are situated in the Comfy District at Obri Comfy Sado and Comfy Edumafa. To fulfill the growing demand for pineapples for the factory and to promote the sustainability of the business, the farms would also be enlarged under the expansion plans. The objective is to increase the farms to 6,000 acres and then 12,000 acres. The company makes five different varieties of eco-juice, and three more varieties will soon be available because to enhanced plant technology. The plant itself, built as part of another District 1 factory effort at a cost of $20 million, had the ability to process 10 tons of pineapples each hour, which equated to four acres of pineapple farmland. The factory's construction contributed to the improvement of the local economy and the creation of jobs in the area. While the major Comfy Fruits and Juices Limited utilized the pulp for citrus juice, the factory would process citrus oil from orange peels for export. He claimed that because the facility was situated in a region where citrus was produced, it would assist reduce post-harvest losses of the local citrus crop and strengthen the local economies of the communities nearby. The director urged Ghanaians to support the fruit production company and to refrain from damaging the company's reputation. The factory's construction contributed to the improvement of the local economy and the creation of jobs in the area. While the major Comfy Fruits and Juices Limited utilized the pulp for citrus juice, the factory would process citrus oil from orange peels for export. He claimed that because the facility was situated in a region where citrus was produced, it would assist reduce post-harvest losses of the local citrus crop and strengthen the local economies of the communities nearby. The director urged Ghanaians to support the fruit production company and to refrain from damaging the company's reputation. The company's industrial breakthroughs are admirable, and one can only hope that others will follow suit in these trying times to help create jobs since the unemployment rate is now so high. Any additional industrial development would be broadcast on this channel. As always, if you like videos like these, be sure to subscribe to Africa Reloaded and to this video. Check out the channel for further videos. Don't forget to enable the notification icon if you want to be notified when we upload new videos.